Hi there guys, it's my British computer guy here with another quick video for you. Today's video I'm going to show you how to jazz up your LED matrix, whether it be a 16x16, 16 16, an 8x32, or an 8x8, or even bigger than that. Um, a lot of you probably know how to go ahead and get scrolling text on your matrix by now. Pretty straightforward, you go into the segments, rename that segment 0, whatever you want, go to the effects, hit scrolling text, and Bob's your uncle. You have scrolling text. A lot of people don't realize you can actually add effects or layers uh, to your scrolling text. You can actually have an animated effect behind your scrolling text. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So before we go ahead and get into that, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos, and also hit that thumbs up button. That really helps a lot with YouTube metrics. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so as you'll see here, I'm using the WLED web browser option. And the way to do that is basically if you pull up the app on your phone, get the IP address for your matrix, or whatever LED it is you're using, then plug it into your browser. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to our segments because obviously we're going to be creating segments. Remember, segment zero is the base layer. Add a segment, it's going to go on top of that layer, okay, or on top of that segment. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and configure the, the text, what we want it to say. So let's click on Add Segment. This is where you go ahead and type in what you want it to, to say on your scrolling message. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep it simple and type in Subscribe, which is what I'd love for you guys to do. So click on the checkbox to say that's okay. You don't need to mess with anything else that's there. Okay, next we want to go ahead and change the, the background effect. So click on Segment 0 and then go to the effect that you want. And I'm going to go ahead and start off with the uh, GEQ, the Graphic Equalizer effects. I kind of like that one. Select that. Now, you'll notice that you don't see it on the display right now, and that's be because that subscribe text layer is sitting on top of that segment zero. Segment zero is the GEQ, subscribe is the top layer, and you can't see that yet because we haven't told that top layer that it's a scrolling text layer as of yet. It's still, still indicated as solid. So click on the subscribe layer or segment and then come down to uh, scrolling text. Let me just go ahead and type it in there. And there you go. There you have it. Simple as that. Now you have your effect in the background and you have your text on top. And you could do it the other way around if you wanted to have scrolling text in the background and an effect on top. Don't know why you'd want to do it that way, but you can just by going ahead and reversing the order in which we did these. Okay, another thing you can do is the brightness. Now you'll notice, or you may not notice, uh, it's kind of difficult to see on this camera, the, the, the background effect, it looks, it's fairly dim, okay? Um, it's, not, it's not popping and it's not bright, which is nice because obviously we want the text to kind of pop out and not be drowned out by the background. If for some reason you don't care and you want the, the background as bright as the text, you can go ahead and fix that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you'd think you'd go to segment zero, which is the background layer. Wrong. Go to the subscribe layer of the, the layer that has your text. Okay, then come down here to where it's do all the little change options, doodads are, and you'll notice the one that has the star, which is for trail. Um, in this mode, for whatever reason, it doesn't really act as a trail. It actually acts as the background brightness for the effect layer. So if we dr drag that to the right and let go, you'll notice how the uh, the colors actually intensified and they got a lot brighter. If you if you want to go back, revert it, just go ahead and bring it all the way back, let go. It takes it back to being kind of a, a faded background. Okay. Another thing you can do, you can actually go ahead and create multiple segments and save them as presets. Um, and then basically you can have a playlist of all these different effects. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick as well. So come over here to the preset menu, click on preset or add preset. Let's go ahead and give it a name. Let's call it uh, hmm, Demo GEQ. Okay, use the current state because that's exactly how we want it in its current state right now. Include the brightness level, it's fine. Save segment bounds and check segments only. Leave that unchecked because not all of our segments are checked. So hit save. That's now in the, in, we can now add that to a playlist. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate that real quick. Let's change where it says subscribe. Uh, let's change that to, how about YouTube? Okay. 
And we're also going to change the background. Click on that. Let's change that to say octopus. I kind of like octopus. That's a good one. Okay. Oh, for some reason I didn't hit save on that one. So let's go ahead and do that again real quick. YouTube. Save. Segment. That's saved for the octopus. Okay, good. All right. So now we have our new segments. We can go ahead and create a preset for those as well. Click add preset. And let's call this one demo octopus. Save. Okay, and now you should have in here two your two presets. Okay, to go ahead and create a playlist of those presets, go ahead and click on playlist. Well, actually, before we do that, let's take it back to the a solid color. Now let's create a, a playlist. We've got to give it a name, so let's just call it YouTube Demo. Okay, quick load label, and leave that blank. And then for the first playlist entry, we want it to be our, let's say, Demo GEQ. 10 second duration, which is fine. And we want to go ahead and add another entry to the playlist. Go ahead and select the other one, so octopus, 10 seconds. That's fine. And also make sure when you do this that you have the checkbox for repeat indefinitely selected. If you don't, then obviously it's going to just play through the, play through the cycle once and stop on the last uh, effect. Um, also, you have a shuffle option. So if you have, say for example, you have 10 different um, presets that you're going to be looping through, you can actually choose to shuffle them into like a random order. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as is, and we're going to go ahead and hit the save button, and it should automatically just fire up. There it goes. Okay, so we'll get 10 seconds of this, and then it will automatically switch over to the, the other one. Here we go. And obviously you can mess, you don't have to have 10 seconds, you can have longer than that. It's entirely up to you, but obviously if I did it for longer than that, it might make for a, an even more boring presentation. So that's it. There you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Nothing nothing too difficult about that whatsoever. And obviously you can change the color of the text by going to the... Let me go ahead and put it back to solid. Um, and the reason I did that, by the way, there is a bit of a bug in the system. Um, if you have animated GIFs already programmed into your playlists, um, say for example my alien uh, test that I, I that I had a uh, playlist if you've got that active and then you try and go to your your, your your text when you go back to alien you'll it messes up and I don't know why it does it I think it's a bug in the software but to get around this basically just have as long as you've got a solid programmed into your presets you can just click on that and then go to whichever one you want, okay? Okay, um, so as I was saying, yeah, you can change all the colors and everything on this without a problem. Um, everything's customizable. Uh, there are a couple of backgrounds that don't work too well, uh, like if you, have, if you program it to have a solid background for some reason, that doesn't seem to work very well, I've noticed. But for, for the most part, most of the uh, Matrix-designed backgrounds work really well with this. So there you have it. If you like this video, well, again, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell icon for notifications of future videos. So there we have it. That's pretty much everything. Um, that shows you how to go ahead and create uh, a nice effect behind your scrolling text. I do have other content that I want to share with you guys, other builds, other projects that are coming out. And also, just so you know, if you are a subscriber, uh, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, which hopefully isn't going to be too far away from now, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway. Yep, a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a pair of RGB non-sound reactive key lights that I created as a demo. Uh, well, actually, they're a, they're a prototype set that I created for a video build that I did in one of my earlier tutorials. Be sure to go ahead and check those out. But yeah, I will be doing a live giveaway. Uh, date yet to be determined, but uh, hopefully it'll be pretty soon. Thanks all for watching. I appreciate your support. You guys are awesome. And uh, if you have any questions, do leave them down in the comments section below, and I'll try and get around to answering them as soon as I can. But uh, other than that, you all have a great day. Take care now, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now. Bye-bye.